Alright, how's it going everybody? My name is Poppers and today we're going to be trying to survive 100 days in hardcore mode on the worst seed I could find in Minecraft. And as you should know boys, this is no easy feat. Surviving 10 days for some people in hardcore mode is a struggle and I'm going to be surviving 10 times that amount. Alright, I'm going to be surviving 33 in-game hours. Can I do that? Well, let's find out. Alright, so day one we started out on this singular grass block in the middle of absolutely nowhere, so I knew straight away that I had to get some food, and I had to get some food fast, otherwise I was going to starve to death. So, I went and I killed a few fish. Yeah, okay, as, as, as hunger's already going down, we, uh, we, need, we, need more, we need more of this cod. I don't know which one I've been hitting. This is, this is, this is awful. I must have angered the gods or something with the great fish slaughter because soon after I started to get attacked by a drowned with a trident after looking at some ocean ruins, so I kind of ran away from there. But while running away, I noticed that there was an underwater nether portal, so I went and I checked if they had a chest. Might as well grab some. Is that, is that, a, is that some ruins right here? Okay, alright. We're going to attempt. Oh, no, we're not. 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 That's a drowned. Nope, 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 nope. Go, go, go. Just swim, just swim. Holy mother of god, just swim, please. Oh my god, dude, he's gonna kill me. Oh no. Oh no. Zig and zag, zig and zag. Oh god, oh god, that hurt. Oh wait, is that ruined portal? Oh god, we need that, we need that, we need that. Okay, I'm gonna go and try and get this chest. I hope it has one, I hope it has one. It did, and uh, we got a nice golden axe, a golden hoe, and two pairs of golden booties from it. Uh, while still being attacked by a drowned, so that was a nice little bonus. It wasn't too great, but it was a nice little bonus. So after being hunted down by a drowned, I realized that I really need to find some inhabitable land, and I need to get some wood, because I'm not going to survive very long without it. So I set out and uh, tried to find some. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, okay, we can do it, we can do it. Wood on the first day, let's go. Okay, this is where we will reside for at least a little while. Get a little base set up over here, we'll be, we're going to live happy, alright? We need a farm. There's a turtle right there. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. Oh, yes. Okay. Eventually, I stumbled across this uh, this little savannah island right here. And to be honest with you, I was happy about this. This was this was good. I finally had some wood so I could get some basic tools. And yeah, just overall, good find. Good find. All right. Day two. Uh, day two was pretty eventful. All right. Day two was pretty eventful. The first thing we did was we left our house and we uh, started a little wheat farm, you know? Had a little, little reliable food source right there. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, we got some seeds down. That's always nice. Sugar cane down too. Lovely, lovely. After I planted my wheat, I thought to myself that I'm gonna get phantoms if I don't sleep within three days. So I need to go and look for some sheep on this tiny little island. So that's what I did. I ventured out and I uh, I found a lot of wildlife. I found a lot of wildlife on this little island. This is this is this is bigger than I thought. <gasps> yes. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have a little look if there's any other sheep. Oh wait, I see one literally over there. Yeah, there's some more over there. Okay, you guys can you guys can go. Ooh, cow, come here, 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 come here. I'd love to make you renewable, but um, I'm not gonna lie to you, buddy. I haven't got time for that. All right, I don't want to wait for the wheat to grow. Whilst we're out exploring, I also stumbled across a uh, a couple caves. So I uh, popped my head in them and uh, you know picked up a little bit of iron, a little bit of coal, and uh, got into the first fight. It was a uh, it was a zombie. I wasn't expecting him, but uh, he died. Any uh, any more iron for me? Any more at all? I don't know why it's uh, why it's bugging out, but get out of here, boy. After our little rumble with the zombie, we uh, we headed home, cooked our food, smelted his iron, got some tools, and uh, made a shield to at least try and help us, you know, survive. After that long day, I decided to make a bed and uh, head to sleep. Boop. Boom! There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. Right, let's get his iron going. Uh, we'll put we'll put seven in there, you know, a little bit, a little bit more. We can finally eat well as well. There we go. Look at that. Mmm, lovely. Mm mmm. All right. Well, we've got us iron cooked. We've got us food cooked. We've got a shield now. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for day two. Let's go to bed and uh, see what the morning holds for us. Alright, so on day three, I decided to go and investigate some noises I heard when I first arrived on the island that I thought was a zombie spawner. Surprise, surprise, it wasn't, and it was just a little sand trap on the beach. But I feel like it has to be like a zombie spawner. There's so many of them, so we're going to go see if it actually is, you know, anything of the sort. That's a skeleton right there. I swear I heard like a load of zombies under here. I'm not too sure. I Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Alright, unless my eyes are... Ooh, Ooh. hello. Yeah, okay. I, if I don't hear any zombies now, I'm pretty sure there's not a spawner. So this was this was kind of a waste of time. Okay. So with the disappointment of not finding the mob spawner, I thought, you know what? The hell with it. I'll start building the house and get all the building, boring stuff out of the way as soon as possible. So that's what I did for the rest of the day. All right. Well, you know what? 
We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start on this house. We're gonna start on this house. Okay, we need to do it sooner or later. We might as well might as well start now. All right, so this is the basic layout. Um, it just look, just look like a little a lot of logs lying everywhere. But what I'm thinking is right. What I'm thinking. I've never built a house like this before, so we're going to kind of see how it goes. But we're going to have, uh, like, rooms all the way around the sides here. All right? Rooms all the way around the sides. And then in the middle, we're going to have, like, this uh, this open space where we can, you know, have a little garden and stuff like that. I might have to pull it out a little bit further uh, just to make the middle a little bit bigger. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to look pretty pretty nice. And then when, uh, when night fell, I went back inside my little hidey hole and I went to sleep. So, day four, throughout the entire day, I gathered resources and worked on the house even more. I almost got the floor done, and I uh, also got jumped by three creepers, which was not fun at all. Uh, alright, let's, let's, let's get this boy. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh my god, oh my god. Jesus Christ, why was there three creepers? Oh my god. After working until late in the night, I decided to go to sleep and uh, continue on in day five. All right, that's going to end off uh, day day four. So I guess we'll continue with the house tomorrow. Hopefully, get it you know a little bit closer to being uh, to being done. All right, so day five. It was another building day. I spent literally the entire day building, except the point where I had a very uninvited guest in my home, um, and I I could have died. I could have died. <gasps> nah, 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 nah. Oh my good god! Holy shit! Get out! Get out of the house! Where, where did you come from, buddy? Where did you come from? I didn't know it was that dark in there. I didn't know it was dark enough for you. Oh my god. You you almost you almost had me, dude. You almost you almost had me. I don't know why I let you blow up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Jesus. Alright, we need to light that up in there. Other than the explodey boy being in my house, that was literally all that happened on day five except building. So uh yeah, on to day six. Okay, so on day six, I decided to take a break from building the house because I didn't want to bore myself to death. So uh, I decided to go mining. I finally went down into the caves underneath my house and uh, a creeper literally ran at me at full speed. I was absolutely terrified. Oh, he's, he's gone. Oh god, oh god, do you see the- Jesus, the speed on that boy. Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, the man full on sprinted at me. Holy shit. By the end of day six, we had a uh, we had quite a lot of iron. Uh, we got a blast furnace, and I uh, popped out to get a little bit more sand to uh, smelt down into some glass for the house. All right, blast furnace time! Blast furnace time! There we go. Lovely. Look at this. Look at this sexy boy right here. Hmm. Get you in there, and then while that's smelting, we can put the um, put the put the sand in there. There we go. Lovely. Overall, day six was a pretty productive day for me. Day 7 was another house building day. I got most of the roof done, and uh, when it started getting late, I wanted to go in to go to bed. But uh, it turns out that my house got kind of taken over by everyone but myself. Is there a zombie in my house? Why is there a zombie in my house? Hello? Not happening. Not happening. Hello? Come out. Come out. What is happening in my house, dude? What the hell? There's a fucking rave going on in there or something. Is that to deal with the creeper first? There we go. Okay, all right. What's going off in here then, boys, eh? What's going off in here? <gasps> right, okay. Um, I've been evicted from my own home. What? Hello? What is going off in there? Is it because I left the tunnel open? Oh my god, dude. Hello? What is going off in my... Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. Oh, okay. Okay, we live out here now. There was a lot of boys in there, and I wasn't dealing with it, so I stayed up all night finishing the roof of the house. Right, moving on to day eight. I uh, I moved into the house. I moved into the new house. That was all I did that day. I thought I'd take a chill day and uh, just, you know, chill out in my new home and, you know, finally be glad to be out of the little hidey hole I was residing in. After having a lazy day for day eight, I decided that day nine was going to be a very productive day, so I went out and I decided to start a cow farm. So I went out in search of the two cows I left alive from day three. Uh, and on my way back, I also picked up a few sheep as well. Where's me cows? No, seriously, where's my cows? I didn't kill them, did I? Did they run away? Why would they do that? Where are the cows, dude? I'm going to be so sad if I can't find them. I see a chicken. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make quick work of you, buddy. Yeah. Can eat you later on tonight. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is it still a baby? Why is it still a baby? It's been like six days. 
How, how long do you take to grow, boys? All right, we've grabbed a couple of sheep as well. We're killing, uh, we're killing two birds, one stone right here. Yeah, I don't know how well they're gonna, uh, I don't know how well they're gonna want to scale this hill right here. But if they want this wheat, they're gonna goddamn scale it. I'll tell you that much. When I got back home, I made a little temporary pen for them, and uh, I'm probably gonna change that real soon. After I put them in their pen, I started to expand the wheat and sugarcane farms just a little bit and have them look, you know, just a little bit nicer. Have a full functioning wheat farm before day 10. Have a full functioning cow farm before day 10. It's all going good. All right, okay, we're uh, we're looking good on this. We're looking good on this farm right here. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Uh, we would probably just tidy up the sugarcane farm a little bit, but um, other than that, we're uh, we're pretty damn dandy right here. So we want two there. Uh, then we want the water to come down here like this. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've made pretty good progress today, boys. Pretty good progress on day nine. We uh, we've got a nice little farm right here. You know, it's coming along very nicely. Maybe a little bit more tidying up around the area, but. Uh, yeah, we uh, we got us we got us wheat farm, and then over here we got us cow farm and and sheep farm. I don't think these children are going to grow anytime soon, but you know at least we've got them. And at the end of day nine, I went to sleep and I was feeling pretty good. All right, it's uh, it's day ten. Uh, woo, uh, tenth of the way there. All right, that's uh, that's that's pretty good. I decided to go mining on day ten. Uh, I wanted to find myself some diamonds, so I uh, took to strip mining and uh, just just went down. Wonderful. Right, let's close that hole up. Let's uh, let's keep going down. We're uh, we're close to Y11. I almost fell in lava twice, but it's it's all good because uh, at the end of the day, I came out with uh, with with six diamonds. All right, here we are, Y11, and there's some iron already waiting for us. But that's not what we're that's not what we're searching for down here. No, no. Oh my God. Ooh, hello. Good lord, that could have that could have gone pretty badly, eh, boys? That could have gone uh, <laughs> that could have gone very badly. Okay, right. Well, we're gonna head back. Uh, we'll head back up top, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be like halfway through the night now. we spent like a day and a half down here, or at least almost a full day-night cycle down here. I fucking knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that would be the case. I knew that would be the case. Oh, boys. We're coming back up with diamonds. Diamonds day 10, baby. Diamonds day 10. Let's go. We've got, we've got three, four, five... Oh, shit, six! Ooh, damn, dude. That is what I like to see. Mm-mm. We hear some more lava over here. Ooh, not today, boy. I was down in the strip mine for a little while, explored a few caves, found a bit of gold, fought a few skeletons, and, uh, yeah, overall, pretty pretty eventful day. All right, so on day 11, I crafted my diamond pickaxe, and I went out to get some obsidian, but as soon as I left my house, I got jumped by this boy right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. I was just coming out to get wood. Why are you here? Don't blow up. Don't do it. There we go. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. All right, boys. This is going to take a while, so I'll see you when we've uh, when we've got all our obsidian. I was about halfway done getting all my obsidian, and I uh, I almost fried myself. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay. All right. That could have that could have ended that could have ended pretty badly. <laughs> Holy shit! That could have ended badly. Oh my god. After I patched up the lava hole, I got all my obsidian, I went back up to the surface, and I made myself a portal. Alright, so where am I wanting to build this portal? I'm thinking that we'll have it, like, in the mountain a little bit, uh, and then build, like, a little cool nether area around it. Uh, but where, where do we want to do that? Where do we want to do that? I think maybe... Maybe right here. You know, maybe right here. It might not look good great at the minute, but, you know, it'll it'll do. It'll do. There we go. Okay. All right. We'll uh, we'll head in there. I guess tomorrow. I want to get some more stuff done today. After I constructed the portal, I spent the rest of the day finishing off putting glass everywhere in the house. All right. We're gonna uh, we're gonna just finish off our glass on the house, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll call it a day for today. All right, boys. That's looking pretty nice. That's looking pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna head to bed, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll go to the Nether. On day twelve, we uh, we went into the Nether for the first time. I was very scared about this, but we got an absolutely great spawn, and there was a Bastion literally right next to us. So overall, it was a really really lucky Nether spawn for me. I usually end up in basalt deltas. All right, in we go. I'm gonna block with a shield. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ready for anything. Oh my God. Uh, okay. This is... This is pretty good, actually. Alright. Oh, this is actually really good. Okay, we're in the biome where Enderman can spawn. There they are. Look at them. Chilling down there. We're in the biome where there's no hoglins. Um, and I don't think ghasts can spawn in this biome either. So that's... That's pretty damn good. Oh my god. Okay, we spawned right next to a bastion. Um, 
we will head in there. I don't know which one it is, but we will head in there at some point. I need to get a little bit more geared before trying to uh, trying to attempt to tackle one of those bad boys. I'll tell you that much. Fucking great spawn. I'm actually really happy with this. God damn. After coming back from the nether, I decided that the portal could look a little bit better, so I kind of tried to make it look a little nicer, but um, I'm going to end up changing this. Now, I'm not good at building. I'll tell you this much right now. I'm not good at building in, in the slightest, but maybe I can make this look okay. Okay, you know what? That's not that nice. I'm not going to lie. That's not that's not what I wanted. That's just really not what I wanted. All right, well, here's what we've got for now. It's not the greatest, it's not the prettiest, but, I mean, it looks a little bit better than it did last time. <laughs> oh, God, that's that's going to go real soon. Okay. Other than checking out our nether spawn and sprucing up the portal a little bit, we really didn't do anything else on day 12. Day 13 through to day 16 is literally just spent mining and farming, trying to get some better gear, and uh, trying to build an enchantment table. So I'll roll the highlights of that right now. All right, so I want to take on that bastion soon enough, but um, I'm not doing it with the iron, or at least unenchanted iron. I actually want a chance to survive, so what we're going to do is we're going to spend a couple days farming the animals, mining, see if we can find a couple more diamonds, and uh, just waiting for the animals to grow up as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Yeah, kill the creeper, kill the creeper. Yeah. Oh. Shoot the creeper, dude. I want a music disc. each other. Amazing. Just came out here looking for cows and I found a little little shipwreck. Okay. Let's have a little look. See, see if he's got anything actually decent for us in here. Hello? Ooh. Uh, it's not like I'm going to ever be able to use them, but sure, I'll take them. Ah, I knew there was another chest in here. I knew there was. There we go. Alright. What you got in? Oh, yes. Alright, we got a map. That's what I was looking for. Oh hey, how you doing, buddy? Um, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be out here. Oi. Oi. I'm just a. Uh, I'm. I'm just trying to, you know, farm my cows, and you just, you just come into my home. What are you doing, man? How did you even get to the portal? Like you literally had to walk up this janky ass staircase. Like how did you even get here? I don't know. Uh, I mean, you can stay if you like. I'll, I'll put you in a little fence. Hey, come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Say that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come here. Well, you know what? That works too. There we go. All right. I'll, uh... I'm going to call you Alfonso. My my boy. You'll you'll keep me company on this, on this lonely island. My boy Alfonso. After spending three days farming and gathering resources, I decided that day 17, I'd go and find that buried treasure. So, that's what I went and did. I'm going to take a break from farming, and we're going to find this treasure map. All right, where are we looking? Is this... This is going to be... This is going to be quite far. I kind of need to get my... Yeah, hold on a sec. I'll get my coordinates, and then we'll go for it. Oh, 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 it's coming up on the map. Okay, so it is this way. Oh, there's an entire forest biome over there as well. Is that more savannah? I think that's more savannah. All right, so the chest should be around here. Let's get... Uh, let's get digging. Oh! <laughs> Okay, straight off the bat, two diamonds. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I've never had that happen. I was expecting to spend like 20 minutes over here. Oh my god. After I found the treasure, I went on a little exploration journey and uh, I lost track of time. All right, well, while we're out here, you know, we might as well have a little look see around this desert. Right, okay, we don't want to get lost. We don't want to get lost, but I just want to have a little, you know, little look around, see if there's anything interesting around here at all. Actually, you know what, boys? It's gonna get dark real soon. We're gonna uh, we're gonna head back home now. It's gonna start getting dark real soon, and I um I don't really want to be this far away from home when it happens. Right? We gotta uh, we gotta book it home, boys. We gotta absolutely book it home. The sun's going down. I don't think I'll get home before it gets dark. So that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be our first night outside of our little safe haven. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. You know, our house is over here. Um. Don't really like getting caught out in the dark, though. You know, it's not it's not a fun experience. And by the time I got home, uh, Alfonso was gone. He's uh, he just left. It's quite sad, actually. A lot of stuff going off out here. This was a this was a terrible idea. I, n I never I, I should never stay up at night. I should never stay up. <gasps> no, Alfonso's gone. My boy. No. Oh, if I had a name tag, dude. If I had a name tag. Ah, oh, 
God. Oh, and there's monsters nearby. All right, well, it looks like we're staying up all night in the house. As day 18 rolls around, I decide that I'm going to build a little wall around my area of the island. So I basically did that all day. You know what we're going to start on, boys? While, while we're waiting for the, uh, the cows to grow up and everything like that, we're going to start on building a perimeter around our little island here. Make it a little... Hello. I was waiting for the day this would happen. Good night. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, we're going to make a little perimeter around the island. Um, make ourselves feel a little bit safer, at least from the ocean sides. Oh, and uh, I completely forgot about it, but uh, this happened. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Oh my God. Whew. Didn't see you sneaking up on me there, buddy. I uh, forgot you boys were on my island last night. Oh my God. Okay, we're fine. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Hello. Uh, do you mind coming on the island a little bit more? I'd like to. I'd like to keep you. You know, you're my friend. I'd like to keep you with me. You know what I mean? Please. Thank you, buddy. There you go. Now it didn't look great, but when I level the island out and clear it up a little bit, it'll look a little bit nicer. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's a little. That's a good little start. All right. I know it doesn't look too great right now. All right, but we'll flatten all the area down a couple blocks uh, at some point and uh, have it looking a little bit nicer. Day 19. Oof. Day 19. This one. This one was a. This one was a bad day. I decided that I was going to bridge over to the Bastion, not to go in or anything, but just to have an easy access to it for when I do eventually take it on. Right, let's head in here and uh, we'll we'll bridge over. Is it going in here, boys? All right. So it's just over there. So we'll start a little bridge from here. Oh god, I don't like this. I absolutely hate doing this, and the fact that it's hardcore makes it even worse. I have, like, insane anxiety about it. Oof. I just don't have faith in my shift key, alright? I just don't have faith in it. And the idiot that I am, uh, I decided to go in, because I was curious what bastion it was, and, uh, oh boy, was this a big mistake. Oh, I already hear him in there, dude. They're not happy about me even being close to them. To be fair, if I wear gold, actually, I should be fine. So I might not even need full enchant, but um, when I open a chest, I know they get mad. So I'm going to have to be very wary. Let's just have a little peek in here, actually. See which one it is. Just a peek. That's all we're having is just a little peek. I think it's the, the one with the magma spawners at the bottom. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's have a little look over here. Yes, it is. All right. I do actually like this one. Um, all right. Where's the spawners, though? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the one. No, no. It has to be. It's, it's super big. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, God. This is bad. Shit. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. No. Oh no, dude, that was, that was real bad. That was really bad, dude, oh my god. Yep, that was my first near-death experience of the series, and honest to god, I'm not going in there anytime soon, I need to get a lot better gear. Oh my god, Jesus, dude, get me out of there. Woo! Oh my dear god, that was, that was terrifying. That was terrifying, I knew I shouldn't have gone in there. I knew I shouldn't have gone in there, dude. Jesus. All right, we need a new shield. After returning home safely, I, uh, I decided to take the rest of the day off and just chill in my house and contemplate why I did that. On day 20, I was still recovering from my near-death experience, so I decided that I was going to go mining and, and definitely find some diamonds. I wasn't going to stop until I found some. We need to get a lot more geared before going into that bastion. I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's just not happening. All right, it's just not happening. I've got to survive 100 days. I'm not going in there like this this is just this is asking for them to just come and absolutely decimate me off the face of the earth at the end of day 20 i ended up coming back home with 22 diamonds we've got a full set now boys we can uh, we can take on that bastion oh my god dude this branch mining is such a good idea i don't know why i didn't start doing it sooner jesus it tears through my pickaxes light but we're good oh is that enough for a full set i think it is i think it is all right let's 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 go back up so on day 21, I realized that I needed a faster source of XP, so I decided to make a mob farm. The actual resource gathering and creation of this took from day 21 all the way through to day 24. Alrighty boys, it's day 21. Um, I'm feeling we need a mob farm, alright? I feel we need a mob farm. We need to get a lot of XP because I'm wanting to go fully enchanted really soon. So uh, let's, let's, go, let's go work on that. Right, so we need 25 stacks of cobblestone. 25! Good God, alright. Good feeling this is going to take a long ass time, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. 
So uh, while gathering the cobblestone that I needed to make the mob farm, this happened, and honest to god, I have never been more scared. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was, I, oh, oh, that was close. Oh my god. Hoo hoo hoo! Ooh, lucky boy, Jesus. Good god. Yeah, right, that's, that's not happening again. Oh my god. After two days of mindlessly mining cobblestone, the farm was ready to be built. Alright boys, day day twenty four. Day twenty four, look at this bad boy. It's uh, it's not done just yet, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. I didn't make like a super efficient one, I just wanted one that would work and give me XP. So yeah, we're getting there. Uh, sh we should be done today. Alright, there we go. I uh, I kinda messed up with the water placements up top, but uh, I did like a little workaround, so hopefully that fixed it and it works. But I pray it does. I've never messed up one of these before. Um, and I feel like an absolute idiot messing up something so simple. On day 25, I decided to start working on getting more leather for books. Um, and I also met this boy and I used him. I used him for a good purpose. Why are you here? Get away. No, I don't want to hit you with a bucket. Get out. Go on. Go away. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want you. No, 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 no. Actually, buddy, could you, me a f could you do me a favor here? Um, can you just blow up this area right here? It'll really help me out in the long run. Uh, I need to flatten this island down a little bit, so you'd, you'd really help me. Come on. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you did a good job as well. There we go. Hey, I want you to. Come on. I can put you to work. Come on, boys. Come here. Uh, you do the same thing, but about here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely amazing. I couldn't have done better myself. I really didn't have too much luck with leather this day, but I did make the full set of diamond armor like I said I would. I guess I did say we'll make us armor, so let's let's just let's end it off by making us armor on day twenty five, shall we? Mmm. 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 Look at that. Full diamond, baby. Full diamond. Uh we need more because I need another pickaxe. Oh god. Okay, so on day 26, I went into the nether and I built a little base around the portal just to feel a little bit safer. And uh, whilst I was in there, I saw a magma cube trying to commit death. Didn't work. Kind of sad. Maybe I should go get my gold boots, you know? I don't... Fu what? My boy, what the Christ did you just do? What? Boy just dropped. Alright, you know what? It's not pretty, but I feel a lot more secure in here right now, alright? I need doors, obviously, but... um. Even just this, you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling better about myself. I could I could look at one of them Endermen if I wanted to. Day 27 and day 28, I waited for the cows to grow. Um, didn't have much luck, so I decided to just landscape the island a little bit, and uh, I almost died. Hey, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. I have a job for you. Hey, I saw you in the fucking corner of my eye, my boy. I saw you in the corner of my eye. You ain't sneaking up on nobody. Um, yeah, I want you to take down this hill over here. You see this little little mound right here? I want you to... Help me take this out. Your, uh, your, your your brothers have. So uh, I want your assistance too. Right there would be bloody great. I ain't got my shield. I don't have my shield on. Oh my god. Dude, I thought I had my shield. That was an absolute waste of a creeper. Um, <sighs> god damn, dude. While I was still waiting for the cows and landscaping the island on day 29, I realized that I could trade gold with piglins to get some leather. So I decided I'd go and do that on day 30. Can you trade leather with piglins? I'm gonna... Actually, yeah, no, give me a second. I'm gonna Google that. Okay, yeah, no, they can uh, They can give you leather. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... I'm gonna finish patching up this little area here. We're gonna call it a day for doing that. And then uh, tomorrow, we're gonna go into the nether and we're gonna trade our very little gold with the, uh, with the piglins and hopefully get some leather from them. All right, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. It's not done, but, I mean, it's... It's nicer now, I think. It's flatter, okay? It's flatter. I like flat land, alright? I like flat land. It looks good. We've got a few torches down to uh, avoid any ghoulie boys spawning. So, uh, yeah. Now, I guess we're going to go to bed in a minute and uh, go to the nether. Because I don't need you guys anymore. Day 30, I head into the nether with my gold booties on. And I uh, I get some, some nice hefty trades going with this piglin right here. 
Leather. No, that's crying, Obby. I don't want that either. Come on. Yes! Okay, two leather. Two leather. All right, that's more than the cows are giving me in weeks. Come on. More crying, Obby. Don't really care for it. Give me leather. Yes! Keep that leather coming, big boy. Keep that leather coming. God, I love these boys. I love these boys. Mm -mm. Except from when you almost, you know, killed me. That, was, that wasn't that was great, but, you know, I forgive you if you give me enough leather. Yes. Ooh, you gave me three that time. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Ooh. Ooh, you sexy man. Give me more. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. You're so generous. Oh, why, thank you, good fellow. Thank you. You know what? After you've given me that much leather, you deserve to be released. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'm, I'll be sure to come find you again if I need any more trades, all right? My buddy right there. Look at him. Look at him. He knows He knows he's made me a happy man today. He knows he's made me a happy man. It makes him happy, too. After coming back with my pockets thoroughly emptied of gold but overflowing with leather, I decided to make some bookshelves and go to sleep. How many will we make? Five. Oh, that's going to tear through my wood. That should be it. Oh, there it is, baby. There it is. Look at that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. On day 31, I decided to do some XP farming, so I used the mob grinder. After that, I decided to go mining for some XP, and uh, I found a few diamonds and uh, and an abandoned mineshaft. Would you look what we found down here, boys? Oh, yeah. Look at this. We can get that diamond pick after all. Is that more? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Well, we're winning, boys. We're winning. I came down here for XP and, uh, and iron. Hey. <laughs> God damn, boys. These caves are good to me. These caves have been really good to me. Ooh, is that a... Ooh, what? Hello? Is that a mineshaft? Is that... Is that a mineshaft or is that my wood? No, that's a mineshaft, dude. Yes! Okay, sweet. We found a mineshaft. On day 32, I decided to enchant some of my gear um, and then decided to go back down into the mine. I came back up with uh, with some diamonds and uh, a mending book from the mineshaft. There's some more lava over here as well. Come on, dude. <laughs> what are these caves, my guy? What are these caves? Oh, my God. Six more. I don't need any more. Oh, there's a chest right there as well. Okay, sweet. Come here. <gasps> oh, my God. I didn't know that was possible. Oh, my God. I Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Come on now. Come on now. This is this is ridiculous, dude. This is supposed to be the worst seed. This is supposed to be the worst seed. What do you mean? On day 33, I decided to enchant the rest of my gear. I got a little bit of wood and then I decided to get ready to go and tackle the bastion. Day 33. Day 33. We're gonna uh, we're gonna enchant some more armor. We're gonna put as as diamonds and, and his mending book away. Um and yeah, we're we're feeling real good, dude. We're feeling real good. I feel like I can take on anything or at least i will be able to very very soon here we go time to remove everything and oh oh would you look at that look at that look at that boys look at that mm -mm. it's one sexy man right there look at this mm, it feels good i fear nothing anymore i fear nothing you see those you see those little chest plates down at the bottom they're full that means ultimate power. You know nothing of the sort, little buddy. You know nothing of the sort, my friend. Alright, let's go to bed, and tomorrow we'll take on that bastion. Day 34. It's bastion time, boys. We uh, we went in there, and we took the coward's way of doing everything. So uh, I'll let this play out for you. We're going to act like we're friendly. Uh, we're going to work our way to the chests at the bottom. And once we open those, it's going to be it's gonna be all out war in there. Alright, it's going to be all out war in there. That's what we want right down there. Why are they coming for me? Why are they coming for me? Wait, what? Why are they... Are they instantly angry at me? I have gold on. Come on, you son of a bitch. No, I'm just cheesing them at this point. This is... This is... Bro, why are they so tanky? Are you going to come back up? There you go. Because I'm not, I'm not risking anything, boys. I'm not risking anything. Oh, hello. All right, all right, all right, Mr. Magma Cube. All right, Mr. Magma Cube. You better, you better knock that shit off, my guy. You better knock that shit off. 
There we go. That's what happens. That's what happens. You see, that's what happens. Okay. This is going well so far. Yeah, this is going. It's going pretty well. Big boy right there. Big boy right there. Watch him. Watch him. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oi. Oi. No need for that. There we go. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. Come on, you make a jump as well. Come on. Yeah. Come on. There we go. That's what happens to you, boys. That's what happens. Got to learn. All right, let's have a look what's in here. Thorns 1, looting 3. Oh. Oh, big boy. God damn. Okay. Sweet. The coward strategy works, my boys. The coward strategy works. Is there another chest down here? I thought there was two. I know I've kind of tunneled the entire way. Oh, God. Eat, 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 eat. Fire protection. There we go. There we go. Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yep, there we go. Okay. That was absolutely terrifying. Okay. Don't bomb me, buddy. Ah, ah. This is the coward's way of taking on a Bastion, boys. I've never actually, never actually took one of these on in hardcore, you know? It's it's very scary. We can return home. We can return home. Well, this is this is good. We took on the Bastion a little bit. Um, I don't want to get too cocky. I don't want to get too greedy. We're just going to go home and uh, and reap the rewards, I guess. Hello there, buddy. It was a good thing I put my boots mm -hmm. on, wasn't it? Hey, don't follow me. Now, we didn't get the best loot from the Bastion, but it was still all right. On day 35 and day 36, I decided that it was time for me to finally find a nether fortress, so I spent a little while looking for one. I don't really seem to see much of anything other than that basalt delta. Oh my god. Woohoo! No, 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 no. Okay, alright. Well, I don't want to go over to the basalt. I guess we'll go... Jesus, dude, I need to stop walking near the edges. I guess we'll go up further. Okay, that's a lot of lava. Not really what we want. I eventually stumbled across one, um, so I looted a few chests, got a little bit of decent stuff, I guess, and uh, then went straight for the blade spawner. <gasps> Boys! Yes! Okay, so almost at the end of day two, and we found the fortress. Oh my god. Let's have a look. Oh, yes! We got a saddle. Sweet. Uh, I'll take some nether wart, too. Why not? Iron horse armor. I guess I'll take it. Better than nothing. Gold diamond horse armor. There we go. Do it. Come on. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There goes my shield. Shit. Shit. My shield. Mine shield. Jesus, dude. After I had a decent amount of blaze rods, I decided to head home. 15 is more than enough. Alright, we're going to head back. After how hectic the past couple of days were, I decided to take a little break. So on day 37 and day 38, I decided to work on a new floor of the house. After taking a couple of days off, I decided that on day 39 through to day 40, we'd venture out and try and find a village. Okay, so far no luck with the temple, but we seem to have found a lot more land back here. I'm not as isolated as I thought I was, boys. What the hell? I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna head through the forest. Ooh, I see a ruined portal over there. We're gonna go check that out. Oh, we got a chest as well. What we get? Ooh, golden apple. I'm breaking two golden pickaxe and a load of iron nuggets. Okay, well, you know what? That's not too terrible. Oh, dude, I should have brought my saddle. I could have got a horse. That would have made things much quicker. All right, here we are. Out in the middle of nowhere on day 40. What a, uh, what a, way, to, what a way to go, you know? What a way to go. What a way to wake up. Just in the middle of a field with a sheep. That's great. We went on quite the journey, but finally, finally, we found one. <gasps> Is that... Yes! Oh my god, okay, yes. Okay, is that... 
is that abandoned or is it is it currently in use? That looks pretty much so in use to me. Okay. Yes, dude. Oh my god. Okay, this is this village is far away. After stealing all the hay bales and making a hell of a profit with them, I decided to go back home. And on my way, I met this doggo right here, and I tamed him. He was my doggo now. Ooh, right, right. I need to kill the skeleton. I need to kill it. There we go. Okay, right. I got bones. I got bones. Can we tame this doggo? Can we tame this doggo? I really want to tame this dog. I really want a dog. Hey, 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 come here. Leave the sheep alone. Leave the sheep alone. Yes! Yes, dude, we got a dog. Look at my boy. Okay, all right. Let's go home, buddy. Let's go home. Let's go home. You don't want to be out here anymore. I'll take this bow. Oh, my God. Yes, I got a dog. I'm so happy about this. I finally have a friend. A friend who won't despawn, but a friend that will probably die. After finally getting back home, I realized that my doggo was no longer with me. So that put us at a sad end for day 40. I don't know why everybody leaves me in this world. It's very sad. And we just made it back in time for the dawn of day 41. Yes. Where's my dog? No. Did my dog die? No, dude. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I know I didn't leave him sitting. I know he was following me for a while. Did he... Did he die? Oh, God, no, dude. No. All right, boys. Well, I'll see you on day 41. On day 41 and day 42, I was still depressed about my dog, so I uh, decided to farm out some materials to get trading with villagers. All right, boys. Day 41. Um, I realized that when I was building the room, I never actually showed you guys it, so here we go. It's not really much, but um, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. I like it. While I was waiting for more crops to grow, I decided to start work on a new enclosure for the animals, and I also made a brewing stand. Alright, there we go. Fire resistance potions. I don't have any glowstone, so I'll probably grab some in a little bit, but uh, for now, we need to get back and, and farm some more stuff to trade. Here's what we have so far. Alright, here's what we have so far. I think we're pretty good, uh, but we need a little bit more. On day 43, I moved all the animals into the new enclosure, and it looks pretty good. Now, right, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be moving the animals over to this new enclosure I made them over here. Um, it's not amazing, but, I mean, it looks all right, and uh, they're going to be living there for the uh, for the foreseeable future. So, let's let's cool them a little bit, and then we'll move them over. All right, there we go. We, uh, we've got the boys in there now. It's, it's, it's looking good. On day 44 and day 45, I head into the nether with my fire resistance potions, and I start searching for some netherite. All right, that should be enough beds for now. I'll craft some more while we're in there, but... Um, yeah, right, let's let's go. Here we go. Anything? No. Hey, finally, Jesus! All right, we got one. Let's go. Hey, is that another? Yeah, boy. Yes, dude. All right. Whilst I was tearing my way through the landscape of the nether, I uh, I almost killed myself. This was a very, very close call. If I didn't have that fire resistance potion, I would have died. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Why did I do that that close? Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my days. That was the closest we've been to, to death. Oh my god, god. Okay. Oof, that hurt. Hey, there we go. All right, so we've got five now. We've almost got enough for two pieces of gear. We don't have enough gold for that, though. Oh, there's a two. Two vein, two vein. Yeah, boy. All right, boys, here's the plan. All right, here's the plan. We're going to stay down here until we have enough for, like, I don't know, like, maybe a full set. <laughs> oh, God, dude, what the fuck? Um, we're going to stay down here until we've got, like, a full set. Um... And a sword, I think. Enough for, like, a sword and a full set of gear would be would be very nice. We're well on his way. At the end of day 45, we came back from the nether with enough netherite for a full set of armor and a singular tool. Yeah, okay, right, we've got enough for everything. Oh, my God. This has been... This has been a hellish place. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling good. We've been down here for, I think, maybe two days. Yeah, we've been down here two days, boys. It's time to go home and... Uh, 
make everything netherite, put mending on his pick, and head to that village with some with some trades, you know? On day 46, I realized that I didn't really have enough gold to craft my netherite ingots, so I just spent all day mining for some, and I also came across a skeleton spawner, which was quite cool. All right, boys, we're going to head to the mineshaft and hopefully find some gold in there. Oh, God, okay, I don't want to deal with the cave spider spawner. Don't want to deal with that right now. No, my gold. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. What is happening up there? You open this area for me a bit, buddy. Oh, what's that? Is that a skelly spawner? I think it is. Oh my god, okay, well, we found a skelly spawner. Any gold in this chest? I'll just let you boys duke it out, it's fine. On day 47, it was finally time to craft the full set of netherite armor. There we go. Here we go, boys. Putting it on. Look at this. Look at this man right here. Oh, I opened a chest. <laughs> Did me do that. Look at this man right here. I can take on anything. I can take on anything. After fully decking myself out in netherite, I decided that I'm going to make a nether highway to the village that I found just for faster travel. Okay, alright, this should be very close to the village, so let's, uh, let's see. Okay, we're in a cave. That's not great, but, um, we should be a cave close to the village. Yes! Alright, sweet. Now we've got a quicker way of getting to and from here. Um, this could be very bad. Let's, let's put the shield out. Okay, we've got a few... Got a few boys that we don't really want over here. The zombies mainly. What if we what if we just go to sleep? What if we just go to sleep? Quick, quick, quick. What the Christ? Why did that blow up? On day 48 and day 49, I decided to chill around in the village to get some trading done. Alrighty boys, so today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be getting some hella trades going off today. You are gonna be the librarian now, okay? This is this is will be your job. Lectern, there we go, alright. Bang this bad boy down and, and get some trades going with this fellow right here. Ooh, mending 20 trades. All right, Jesus. All right, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, my boy. That's pretty that's pretty damn good. Thank you. Uh, right, where's the wheat boy? Are you the wheat boy or is this the wrong guy again? Yeah, it's the wrong guy. I think the wheat boy works all the way at the back over here. Yeah, he does. There he is. There he is, my guy. Come here. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. I've got some trades for you, buddy. Yes. Okay, right. We've got another mending book. <gasps> yes, dude. And for 15 emeralds to you. Fucking lovely, lovely boy. Thank you so much, my guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Mwah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've been trying that for about 20 minutes. Jesus after two very successful days of trading with those villagers, I decided it was time to head back home and refresh my stock. Alright boys, this is it. This is it. Day 50 boys. Halfway there. Halfway there. And we're, we're going pretty good, you know. We're going pretty good. Last night was, uh, we got that protection for. Very, very, very happy about that. So let's go and put it on his, uh, let's go put it on his gear. There we go. Alright, let's head home boys. Day 50 and we're doing absolutely brilliant. Couldn't be happier with how things are going. And at the end of day 50, all our armor had protection for, and most of it had mending. So, yeah, we're pretty good now, boys. We're halfway there, and we're really suited up. And I'd also like to take a quick moment to ask you that if you're enjoying this video, then consider dropping a like and subscribing. It'd really mean a lot to me, because this video has taken a long time to make. But either way, on to day 51. On day 51 to day 56, I spent all this time gathering trade resources from back at home so that I could return to the village and finish off getting the enchants for my gear and also try and pick up a woodland mansion map. Also, while I was waiting for all the crops to grow while farming my resources, I just made a few quality of life improvements to the island. On day 57, I decided to go to the village and finally get my woodland mansion map trade, as well as trading with the villagers to get enough emeralds to enchant the rest of my gear. On day 58, I went looking for redstone because I needed a compass to get my woodland mansion map, so I went and did that, I found some, and then I, uh, I got my map. Here you are, buddy. Alright, I would like a woodland explorer map, thank you. Okay. Um... Okay, we look pretty far away from that. We're going to have to travel a good while, so we'll uh, we'll crack on with that in a little bit. But I just want to uh, just want to finish off my mending trades and try and get sharpness on my sword before we uh, before we go there. After getting my map, I decided that I wanted to enchant my sword before going there, so I tried to get a villager to give me sharpness 5. I got sharpness 3, but I combined them all to sharpness 5. On day 59, I finally got all the enchants on my gear, so I decided to head back home. And on my way, I found this doggo right here, and I uh, I tamed him. 
Okay, boys, I, uh, I realized that I really wasn't recording uh, for like two minutes of the day. Um, so basically, right, I found this dog um, and he killed a skeleton. So I, I tamed him. He's right here. Um, and then a creeper almost blew up on him. So yeah, the universe doesn't want me to have pets. We're going to get two mending books and then we're going to go home. Now, because this video is already quite long, we're going to speed things up right here. So, on day 60, all the way through to day 64, I spent all this time looking for the mansion. And finally, on day 64, I found it. Alright, let's, uh, let's venture out and uh, find this mansion, shall we? There we go, boys. There it is. We don't need you anymore, buddy. Get out of here, kid. We don't need you anymore. Actually, let me clear my inventory out before we go in there. Alright, boys, we're in. We are inside. Oh, I hear them. They don't want me to be in here, boys. Ooh, is this is this one of the, the hidden passages? Where's the chest? There it is. Uh, diamond hole, great. Okay, champion. <laughs> That's great. Oh, we've got some melon seeds, though. They're useful. All right. I guess we've got to go and take on these evokers then, shall we? Okay. Right. Let's eat up. Oh god. Come on. Yeah, okay. This ain't this ain't this ain't a problem. This ain't a problem. We haven't come across an evoker yet though, so I don't really know how the vex are gonna be. Evoker Evoker Hello There it is. All right, I killed it. I killed it. I killed the evoker. All right, just chug this. Chug this. There we go. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Damage. 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 Right. Okay. We're feeling good. We're good. Nothing can fucking stop us now, boys. Nothing can stop us now. We're gonna tote them. Don't know what the f the hell these boys think they can do to me now, but. Uh... <laughs> Find it quite funny. Oh god, oh god, I might be popping that totem sooner than I thought. Jesus. Alright, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, boys. Oh god, I forgot about the floor. Oh Christ. Okay. There we go, they're dealt with, they're dealt with. Go, that's fine. <laughs> I think my thorns on my boots killed him. Oh god. Right. Up top we go. Oh, oh no, the zombie picked up the totem, dude. The zombie picked up the bloody totem. How am I supposed to kill him? He's going to pop that totem when he dies. Yep, there he goes. What a waste of a totem. Jesus. After pretty easily conquering the mansion and getting our totems of undying, it was finally time to make the very long journey back home. On day 65 through to the beginning of day 67, I was just working my way back home. On day 67, when I got home, I realized that I wanted to start looking for the stronghold right away. So uh, I went into the nether and I got some more pearls. I spent all of day 68 gearing up and getting potions and whatnot to take on the dragon as soon as I got to the stronghold. On day 69, it was finally time to head out and find the stronghold. I ended up finding it pretty quickly. Oh, I went past it. What? Hello? I think it's here. It's, yeah, I think it's here. Okay. Oh, yep, here we are. Here we are, boys. Oh my god. We made it. It's actually not that far away, to be fair. Um, I built, I built my house in a, a pretty decent location for this. While searching for the portal room, I met these boys, and I absolutely love slimes, dude. Just look at them. They're so cute. I love them. They're great. Oh, a slime? Two slimes. What? Hello? Boys, I never see you guys in survival. Hello? Hey, calm down, boys. Calm down, calm down. I'm one of the few people that actually really like you. Oh, I love you guys. Look at them. Tell me they're not like the best. Look at them. Look at them just bouncing about, dude. They don't, they don't want to... Well, I mean, they may want to hurt you, but I mean, they can't. Ha! <laughs> look at you, boys. Oh, God. I love slimes. Oh god, big boy, hello. Sorry. I eventually found the portal room, I inserted the eyes, and I uh, I got ready. Aye, okay. Well, we've got more than enough anyway. Here we go, boys. Here we go. There it is. There it is. Alright. On day 70, it was time to take on the dragon. Alright, boys. We've been through a lot on this world. Okay, we're nowhere near done yet. Alright, we're closing in on the end, but we're not at the 100 days yet, so... We're gonna go in there, and we are absolutely going to decimate, and destroy, and just wipe this dragon off of the face of the earth. It's not gonna know what hit it. 
Now, I have a terrible aim with my bow, alright? I can't hit the, the crystals, so we're going to see how it goes. But as for the dragon itself, it's going to die. Hopefully we don't get launched into the air and I have to MLG because I can only hit it about 70% of the time. But either way, boys, let's... Uh... <sighs> let's go. Okay, here we are. Can I hit that? Oh my god, okay, shit, I did I better with the bow than I thought I was. Okay, I tell a lie. Boom. Alright, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit tricky to get. A little bit, little bit lower, a little bit lower. No, a little bit higher. There we go. For some reason, I literally cannot hit this one. I don't know why. Maybe I hit it, I don't know. I don't think I did. But, um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't hit the damn thing. Oh, I did hit it. Okay. Are they all down? Oh, shit, dude. They're all down. Don't don't launch me, buddy. Don't try it. Oh. I didn't mean to throw that potion. I really didn't mean to throw that potion. Okay. Okay, right. So I put, like, the bed there. Then, like, something here. And then I hit the bed, right? Screw it, dude. This is the way I'm doing it. I don't care. Do you mind, you fucker? Oh my god. There we go. Let's just let's just go at him, boys. Let's just go at him. I've, I've had enough of this. Oh dude, come on. You are so dead. Just accept it. Accept it, buddy. Accept it. There we go. Good night, sweet prince. There he goes. All right. Well, we didn't even use a totem or anything. I wasn't. I wasn't really expecting to, but still. There we go. Oh my god. Mine two down. Put a torch there, and then that should give me the egg. Yes. After quite easily dispatching the dragon on day seventy-one, I decided to head back home. Oh, look at that. There we go. We're back home, boys. We're back home. It feels good, boys. It feels good. We took the dragon on. We uh, we took the woodland mansion on. I'm not doing the ocean monument because I actually freaking hate those. I absolutely despise ocean monuments. However, the next thing we're going to go for is the wither. We're going to take that bad boy down before these 100 days are up. When I got home, I decided to take a couple days off from doing anything too big, so I decided just to tidy up the island for a few days. And I also made a little wall of trophies that I'm hoping to expand real soon. Alright, so yeah, we're going to take a, a day or so off. We're going to just remove some stuff and tidy the island up a little bit more. And then uh, we'll start work on the wither. As for, like, the woodland mansion, bow that killed the dragon, the actual dragon egg. Um, I don't know why that's a thing, because there's the egg there, but it's fine. While I was on my little break of doing anything really productive, I decided to uh, I decided to remake my house. And this took, this took from day 72 all the way through to day 76. So uh, I'll roll the process of that real quick right now. The tutorial I followed to build this new house, I'll leave in the description down below. It's a really quick and easy tutorial, uh, so yeah, if you're interested, go check it out. On day 77, the house was finally built, so I decided to be productive, so I headed into the nether, and I, uh, I hunted down for some wither skeleton skulls, and, um, Jesus Christ, getting these skulls took so long. It took from day 77 to day 80, and that's without sleeping, that's day and night. It took so long, they just were not dropping, so, uh, I'm times gonna show where you I had the times drop. where I had them drop. After retrieving more than please, enough wither skeleton boys, skulls, please. I decided to head back home. So Please. after the fiasco of the skulls in the nether, I decided on day 81 and day 82, I was going to just tidy up my storage and try and get right smite four oh, or five oh, on my axe. Oh, they dropped them. They dropped them. A little yes. Bit easier. Yes, dude. It was yes. Time to take oh, my the God. All right. So after it's day 80 right now, and we came in here on day, like, what, 76, 77. All right. So it doesn't seem like that long, but that's like an hour. That's like an hour. I didn't have that much of it. So from day 84 all the way through to day 87, I was literally just in case trying to find some iron. We're going to kill this wither. We're going to kill this wither. Damn wither, 
finally. So after the fiasco of the skulls in the nether, I decided on day 1 and day 2, I was going to just tidy up my storage and try and get smite 4 or 5 on my axe just to tackle the wither a little bit easier. On day 83, it was finally time to take down the wither. Let's chug this apple and we'll go in. Now right, here we go. He's not a happy boy. Whoa. Okay, we did some damage. We did some damage. I can hit him from here. Ah! Ah! You son of a bitch! Oh no! Alright, we're gonna be tearing through these apples, but I do not care. You are an angry boy and you must be put down! You must be put down! You must be put down, you understand me? You're gonna go down, buddy! Boom, bitch! Boom! There it is! What an absolute bitch, bro! <laughs> After very easily cutting down the wither, I decided to return home and start work on getting the resources for the beacon. So I decided to make the, the beacon out of iron, and uh, I didn't have that much of it. So from day 84 all the way through to day 87, I was literally just in caves trying to find some iron. And by the end of day 87, we had enough iron for the beacon. On day 87, it was finally time to build the beacon. It took me a little while to build the beacon. I couldn't get it to line up exactly where I wanted it, but it took a couple tries and we got there in the end. On day 88 and day 89, I, uh, I made the stained glass for the beacon, and then I decided to go out venturing for a horse because I really wanted one. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, I got my iron back. Sweet. There it is. All right. Feeling good about it. All right, boys. I feel like we need to venture out. We need to get a horse. You know, we need to get a horse. It's it's closing on the end, and I haven't got one. I uh, I really want to go get one. So uh, we shall uh, we shall go do that. At the end of day 89, I realized that I was having no luck with it, so uh, I just took a donkey instead. Alright boys, you know what? You know what? I've had enough looking for this horse. We're gonna just we're gonna just have a donkey. We're just gonna settle for a donkey. Calm down. Oi, calm down. There we go. That's what I like to see. On day 90, I decided that I was gonna work on getting some elytra, so I uh, I ventured out to try and find the stronghold again, but it proved a little bit difficult because I didn't have the coordinates for it. Alright, so today we're gonna be going into the end again. Um, and we're gonna have a little look. I'm not gonna go for too long, alright? I'm not gonna go for too long around the end cities and, and whatnot, because I know that they can take the piss to find uh, but I'm going to try and pick up a pair of elytra if I can. When I eventually got to the stronghold, I headed straight back into the end and into the end islands. Here we go. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is where it spawns me. Where the hell is this, dude? After spending about a day in the end islands, I uh, finally found a end city and it had a ship. It was the first one I found and I was super glad that it had a ship. Okay, boys, we've not been in here long. Uh, there's our first end city. Oh, and it has a ship! Oh my god, our portal's literally like over there a little bit, like three pearl throws away. After successfully claiming the elytra, I decided to head back home. And by day 92, we were finally back home. On day 93, I decided that I wanted to put mending on my elytra for some reason, so uh, I went to the village and I started to do a few trades. After getting mending on them, I uh, I went back home. Now, I must have been feeling angry or something on day 94, because I, uh, I went back into that bastion and I took revenge for what they almost did to me on day 19. They're not even going to see it coming. They're not going to see it coming. It's just going to happen, and then they're just not going to be ready for it, dude. They're not going to be ready for it. You motherfuckers. Want to come and fuck with me on day 19 when I'm just a weak, weak little boy? Nah. It's not how it goes down anymore, that, boys. It's not how it goes down anymore. I'm about to show you what, uh, what true power looks like, or at least true, like, 14 TNT, but still... Alright, you fucked with the wrong guy on day 19. Yeah, didn't expect to see me again, did you, you motherfuckers? Oh, you, you, you're gonna see me for the last time. You're gonna see me for the last time, boys, I'll tell you that much. Alright, boys. It's been fun with you guys, you know. But, uh, I gotta do this to you. Oh. There we go. That's what you get, bitch. It didn't really do that much, to be fair, but, I mean, eh. They've got less Bastion than they already had, and they're, like, run down anyway, so. Yeah, fuck them. After finally getting some closure on the traumatic event that happened on day 19, I decided that it'd be best if I went to bed. On day 95, I spent all day waiting for sugarcane to grow, considering that I wasted all my paper in the village. On day 96, we finally had enough sugarcane grown to make some paper, and I, uh, I just flew about. I literally just flew about. All day. That's all I did. 
if I can... Why can't I? Oh, I don't have them on. <laughs> Alright. There we go, boys. Look at this. Oh my god, dude. The island looks so, like, clean from up here. Look at this. Ooh. Hello, pig. How you doing? I'm sorry I killed your friend. Alright, boys. We've, we've conquered the game. We've actually conquered the game. On day 97, I decided that I was going to finally clear out that cave that's been under my island this entire time because uh, they were preventing me from sleeping at this point. And when I went to mine down into this cave, well, I'll just let it play, shall I? I'll just let it play. I've been bothering us for a little while now. Oh, God. Jesus Christ! Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting all this. I'm not going to lie, boys. I wasn't expecting all this. We're going to have zero deaths, all right? This totem's not getting popped down here. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. Holy shit. My God. After clearing out the cave, I really didn't do anything. I uh, I think I went AFK, to be fair. On day 98, I decided to harvest my farm for the last time and just tidy it up here and there. Yeah, by day 99, I must have gone insane or something because I decided that it'd be funny to throw all my netherite gear into lava and then proceed to pick up that lava in a bucket, go kill a zombie with it, and uh, then ride a pig all day. All right, boys, to make it fair on the world, we're going to... Uh, we're going to just chuck... Chuck our netherite armor in this in this lava right here. There we go. It's gone. Psych, it doesn't burn. But if you thought it burnt, then I got you. Yeah, that's that's funny, right? That's that's a funny ha ha right there. Oh god. No, I don't burn, it's really cool. <laughs> I found something to do, boys. I found something to do. Yeah, dude. I found something to do. I'm riding a fucking pig. Let me through, dude. Let me through Oh, you fat bastard, you won't fit! How dare you? Oi, there shouldn't be anything down here. Oi, well, that's your own fault, isn't it? You shouldn't be spawned on my island, should you, buddy? Any more? I heard multiple. Come here. Oi. Oh, you juking me out, buddy? Yeah, juke me out now, bitch. Good night. After my hard day's work of riding the pig, I, uh, I watched the final sunset I was ever going to see in this world. And then afterwards, I went to bed for the last time. There it goes, boys. The last sunset. The last sunset we're going to see, boys. There it goes. There she goes. It's time to head to bed for the last time. There we go. Day 100. I did it. I survived 100 days on the worst seed in Minecraft on hardcore mode. I didn't think I was going to get this far. I did it my first attempt and I was really happy about it. I spent all day just reminiscing about the things I'd done previously. I'm, I'm super surprised with how far I've actually managed to get. You know, I killed the dragon. I got the elytra, full netherite. I, I didn't actually bother getting the tools. Like, I just didn't need them. I didn't need the extra durability if they had mending. I don't know if they mine quicker, though. I don't think they do. I don't I don't know. Either way, boys, it's been one hell of a journey. And uh, I'm grateful that you came along this, this, this treacherous path with me. But either way, if you have any ideas of your own that you would like me to do, please leave them down in the comments below. Either way, boys, that's, uh, that's it from me in this 100 days. I'll... Uh, I'll see you all in the in the outro, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Adios, boys. I hope you enjoyed. And there we have it, boys. There's 100 days survived on the worst seed in Minecraft on hardcore difficulty. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. It really mean a lot to me. And this video took a really long time to make. So I would really, really appreciate it. But other than that, boys, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other ideas for videos like this, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Adios, boys.